Hey, welcome to the Electronic Gadgets channel where we review and talk about gadgets that are most of the time $20 or less. Uh, there are a few exceptions to the rule when it's really cool, but most of the gadgets will try to be under uh, $20. And we received today the Digital Breath Alcohol Tester. I um, actually received it a few days ago. And um, it's a $17 gadget bought on eBay, so it's less than 20 bucks and um, it was available on eBay. No, uh, the shipping is included if I'm not mistaken. Uh, price includes shipping and everything. And so this is what it looks like, this little tester you get here. And what's cool is that it's really, really a portable tester. So um, you've got the tester, and if you're looking for the mouthpiece or um, what you need to blow into the uh, hole here, uh, it's all included inside. So if you open this little door here, you see five little mouthpiece that will can be used to blow in. And what's cool is the fact that these mouthpiece are included and you got five of them so if you have friends uh, you can each use a mouthpiece and so uh, which is frankly much better than using everybody's mouthpiece uh, for germs and you know you'll never know so uh, what do I think of it and how precise is it first of all it comes in this cute little box uh, in the box you have uh, it was really secured into the box basically and here we go and it's a nice really nice box it's actually uh, magnetic here which is really nice and so it was secured into this uh, little box here like this comes with a mouthpiece and also a carrying pouch that I can uh, show you right here so when you want to bring it along you have this little vinyl pouch that uh, you can use it and put the uh, tester in when not in use so it's really nice because it protects uh, you know we all have these times when we go out with friends have a few drinks and we're always wondering can I take my car can I not take my car well the first answer I would give you with this is uh, if you go out for a few drinks even one beer, you should never take your car or, um, you know, take a taxi. Much better and uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, but if you do have to go out or if it's, you know, an improvised outage where you're going with your friends and um, or some uh, maybe uh, work colleagues uh, and you're wondering, can you take your car or not? Well, this is a cool little device for that. Now, is it accurate that's the first thing you want to know especially for a alcohol tester that's only that's less than 20 bucks is it really accurate does it really show you the good uh, quantity of alcohol in your blood uh, first of all you gotta know one thing is if you take an alcohol drink you have to wait 20 minutes before you can blow into the device uh, why? Because the uh, alcohol that's left in your mouth if you drink will interfere and give a wrong, a much higher reading on the device. So that's the first thing. Um, so what you do is you actually take one of those little mouthpieces, you put it over here on the device, and there you go. You press and hold for one second. It has a warm-up time of 15 seconds. Once the warm-up time is done, then you will blow for at least uh, three or four seconds, what they say. So let's try it. And here it reads zero, as I have not been taking alcohol. Uh, I was thinking of taking a few beers just before the video to uh, show you that it works, but um, I decided not to. Um, just too early in the day. <laughs> so.
so and it automatically shuts off that's another cool thing about it and it will give you the uh, alcohol level in uh, three types of convertible units which is percent percentage BAC um, percentage or some other form of BAC I don't know what BAC is exactly here in Canada we have MG on uh, L which is the uh, milliliter the uh, quantity of alcohol in uh, the blood um, so milligrams per liter so um, this is in Canada this is what we use uh, so the other ones are probably for other uh, countries and so if you have a different alcohol test limit um, then you know that you can convert it the uh, machine lets you convert it so you just press on the button so if I go here and we leave it going on by the way uh, they tell you that before each test to shake it a little bit to give the air out and then you got to blow in here so by blowing you get your measurements uh, at least three seconds is enough most of the time I've tested it and three or four seconds is most of the time okay and you see here this is milligrams per liter if I press I get the different readings available so um, it's really nice easy to understand and you can't forget it on because if you just don't touch it after only a few seconds it turns off with a beep what happens if your alcohol level is actually higher than or is readable well first of all below 0.05 or below a certain limit it's just just gonna give you the uh, reading like you see here on the box at 0 0.05 or more it will start sounding an alarm to let you know that it's getting dangerous and you're getting a little high on alcohol here so um, it really has all the bells and whistles to let you know um, even if you you know can't read the display for some reason um, well you'll have an alarm sounding that's gonna say nah you um, this is getting a dangerous to a dangerous limit here is it accurate well the test that I've done is the test with the um, there's a, a local bar here about three streets from where I live and um, I've tested the device against the machine in the bar uh, I know for a fact that the machine in that local bar is calibrated every six months so I know that it has a minimum of uh, you know accuracy it should technically display pretty well the amount of alcohol in your blood so what you do you wait 20 minutes after the last drink very important because if you don't and I'm gonna show you here I'll just take one little drink of beer here so I just took one sip of a beer and I'm gonna blow I'm gonna show you but if you don't wait 20 minutes what it's gonna do and you'll see the alarm at the same time so I only took one little sip and now I'll blow and now here I am so you get these readings of how much and it does display I don't know what that E is though um, it's too high for the machine uh, you see that little danger and that little face that's like nah you shouldn't drink or anything so uh, you see if you don't wait 20 minutes it has a really really uh, wrong score of uh, the amount of alcohol because it's just too fast it's actually gonna take the alcohol from the breath directly which is not what you want so they tell you 20 minutes before any any testing you gotta wait a real 20 minutes after your last drink so comparing it to the uh, bar um, what 
accuracy does it have? Well, it's pretty amazing, I must say. For the price, I was expecting some, you know, um, error of uh, some some good margin of error between the the machine and this little thing, this little cheap testing, uh, you know, digital bread tester, and um, the errors are mostly when there's not a lot of alcohol involved. So for example, after one beer, the machine in the bar did tell me I had 0.01 something. Uh, this one stayed at zero. After two beers, um, I was going up on the machine, it started telling me I had 0.015, for example. So there was a, a slight difference. Uh, the other one was like at 0 0.025. This was at 0 0.015. Uh, the margin of error is 0 0.01. They do tell that in the uh, little uh, instruction manual that comes with it. So it's basically uh, in the margin of error that I've seen. But as you get drunk, it gets more precise. And I've noticed that the more you drink, the uh, more accurate is the device. So uh, after a six pack, uh, I was really past the legal limit here and um, was at like 0 0.95, 0 0.095 and the legal limit here in Montreal in Quebec is 0 0.08. And this displayed uh, 0 0.093, which is pretty close, uh, close enough to say that if I was uh, going out to a party and wanted to test myself, I think this device is accurate enough to actually give you uh, the reading that you want and uh, give you an idea if you should or should not take your car. So for accuracy, I think it's good enough and I'm actually frankly amazed that for less than 20 bucks you have your own little digital breath alcohol tester and that it's such an accurate device. Uh, works on three AA batteries that go right here if you uh, open the uh, little compartment here. And um, there we go. So this three AAA batteries because it's quite um, small. So it's very light and uh, actually great size to put in a shirt pocket or uh, just you know put in the little pouch and uh, you just bring it along quite easily in a little handbag or uh, just put it in your pockets just be careful not to sit on it. And um, I think for less than 20 bucks if you uh, often go out have beers and you know always wondering should you take your car or not or you're just going out on parties and it's actually a fun little thing for parties uh, because um, an actual test that I've done is I went to a uh, my, my brother's birthday party and we were uh, six or seven uh, guys and we're having fun and it was kind of cool because we kind of made this little contest of um, you know each person drinking exactly the same amount of alcohol and every hour we would uh, you know have that 20 minute period of not thinking anything and we would test ourselves and it's really really fun to see depending on each person and the um, uh, you know smaller persons people that have less weight and more weight and see how much alcohol actually is in their uh, blood. Um, it's really, you know, one of those little party uh, testers that could be cool and it could be fun to do. And we had a lot of fun actually with this uh, device. And what's nice is you got five mouthpieces, so you can be up to five people that will breathe. Each keeps his own mouthpiece for the evening, for example. Uh, it's fun also because if you bring it along and you have a friend and you're not sure well, if you uh, want him to breed, you've got mouthpiece to blow in the device um, for your friends. And they're plastic, so it's pretty cool. You can, you know, uh, I bring him home, I put them in a uh, um, uh, uh, friction, alcohol, friction, uh, alcohol, and uh, just put it in the alcohol for a few minutes and clean them real well so that you know that no germs are stayed. You just put them back there, put the uh, piece back on the device, 
and you're good to go and have uh, some more fun. So, uh, great device, uh, less than 20 bucks. If you want to uh, have uh, something that people like to talk about, this is a cool little device and uh, amazing accuracy for the price. So this is a digital breath alcohol tester and it's uh, about $18 on eBay. Great little device if you uh, have a few drinks. If you enjoy our videos, hey, subscribe to our channel. We uh, try to put uh, as many uh, gadgets as possible online. It's not always possible. I've been uh, a little bit um, occupied with work, so I didn't have much time. But I will try to post more and more of these gadgets online on my uh, video channel. So thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy your channel and watch our videos and that uh, we'll come back to the uh, Cheap's uh, Electronic Gadgets channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.